Here we made a dust collection system for the Tormach where we took a piece of PVC pipe, four inch diameter PVC to I believe like a two inch size here and we've attached a brush down below and here you can see the see the tool in there and the exhaust so it's pulling it's uh, the vacuum is pulling gonna pull all the dust out and it's pulling it out this line to our vacuum cleaner set up here where it's going first into this dust deputy dust collector and m the majority of the stuff will drop out into the bucket down below and then we just have a regular shop vac hooked up there and this is our this, we're just using this right now because this is our shop vac setup this is what we use to clean the shop just general vacuuming tasks uh, but we have a HEPA filter in the shop vac so it will pick up all the, the G10 fibers and stuff like that and keep it from getting into the air. The fibers that make it through the dust deputy because the dust uh, the, the dust cyclone is going to pick up uh, the majority, like 99% of the stuff goes into the dust cyclone. See, the dust collection is working really well, huh? Yeah. This dust extraction on the Tormach has been working really well. And here we have the finished edge and no dust anywhere. All the dust got picked up by the vacuum, even without a perfect seal. What we did is we shortened this. We removed probably about this much material up here. And then we shortened down to the bottom. And in to make it fit onto the the collar of the Tormach, we also took put on the lathe and turned out the center of it until it was big enough to fit on there. And then down here, we just kind of shortened it a little bit so it would fit, so the bit would be below the surface. And then we uh, put some foam, put some foam in there, and used a hose clamp to secure the brush so we can easily take the brush on and off. Nothing's glued here. We added this piece of, of uh, heat shrink tubing to keep the brushes from bunching up whenever we're tightening the hose clamp. And it's working really well. We just have it hooked up to the vacuum and it's working really well to keep pick up the dust. And then it just, when we, when we don't need it, we can just take it off and put our coolant nozzles back around here whenever we're machining materials that aren't dusty and that need coolant.